hello and welcome back to my channel or a welcome if you are new here I am so excited for today's video I'm just gonna be kind of playing around with some clean makeup and also some new beauty products or some new makeup products that I have recently been playing around with and that is the Lavina Beauty eyeshadow palettes as well as their eyeliner and these are so much fun so that is what I'm going to be featuring for the eye look today um, but yeah so if you are interested in seeing how I created this look definitely keep on watching if you are interested in any of the products that I use today I will have everything linked in the description box below All right, you guys, so to start off, I just want to create an even base on my eyelids before doing eyeshadow. So I'm just going to use the Ilia Beauty True Skin Concealer. I have this in the shade Chicory SC1. And I'm just going to apply this to my eyelids for now. I will conceal under my eyes a little bit later. But I'm just going to start off by doing this to create an even base for the eyeshadow because I am going to do the eyeshadow before I do my foundation. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using both of the Lavina Beauty palettes, and you guys, these eyeshadow palettes are gorgeous, and the colors are so, so pigmented, absolutely beautiful, they're so creamy, like let me just swatch one here for you guys, let's swatch this really pretty like orangey reddy type of color I guess it's kind of like an, a red actually but let me just swatch this for you so you can see what I mean like look at that so creamy and so pigmented so pretty I am seriously so impressed with these eyeshadow palettes look at that in clean beauty you don't see a whole lot of eyeshadows that are this pigmented so I was really really pleasantly surprised by these and I'm definitely very impressed so I'm gonna be using some shades from both of these palettes today because I kind of want to demonstrate using both of them um, but I can definitely do more videos in the future with these palettes if you guys are interested because you can create so many looks with these so many like nicer neutral shades but it also has of course those pops of color so that's exciting all right so I'm gonna go for kind of like a pinky bronzy type of look here so to start off, I'm going to start off with this light pink shade here. This is a matte shade, and I'm going to apply this to the crease. I'm going to jump into this like taupey brown type of shade, and I'm also going to put this on the crease, but I'm going to kind of center it more towards the outer area um, rather than going all the way in, although I am going to be blending it just all throughout the crease, but just focusing it on the outer area. These two shades, this light pink and then this taupe shade are more subtle, but I think that these do work really nicely for a transition shade, and they just like look really nice and smooth on the eyelids. These are super easy to blend, so I feel like it doesn't look like a whole lot yet, so we're definitely going to need to add some more of those richer colors in here. So I'm gonna jump into this darker bronzy shade in the Eye Magic palette, and I'm just gonna kind of focus this on the outer area just to kind of build some dimension. Now this shade does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna focus this on the outer area. And look how pretty that is. So gorgeous and bronzy. a clean crease brush I just kind of want to blend everything out blend out the edges make it look a little bit more seamless even if it looks a little bit messy right now I know it looks kind of crazy messy right there I'm gonna fix that up later when I apply the concealer and the foundation all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and and jump into the shade here in the Goddess Glow Palette. This is also kind of a bronzy shade, but it's cooler toned than the one that I just used from the Eye Magic Palette. I'm just gonna apply this shade right here all over the lids.
And I still do want this to have a little bit more of a bronzy, darker bronzy look to it. So I'm going back into the shade here that I used before to deepen up the outer areas of the eyes. And I'm just going to apply this again on top to the outer areas of the eyes just to deepen this area up even more. I'm going to take this pink shade right here. This shade has a little bit of a shimmer to it. And I'm going to pop this on into the center of the eyelid just to add a little bit of color. I feel like that shade's not really showing up a whole lot on top of the bronzy shade. I mean, it is a little bit, but not as much as I want it to. So I'm going to take this sh other pink shade from the Goddess Glow palette, and I'm just going to apply this one to the center of the eyelid. See if this one shows up a little bit more. Yeah, it does. Now, I will say that these eyeshadows are a bit powdery, but I don't find that to be a deal breaker. I still really, really like them. Um, so I definitely do think that it's a good idea to probably use these eyeshadows before, or just apply the eyeshadows before you do your foundation, just because there is a bit of fallout with these. Um, but they are really, really pretty. I'm gonna go back to the darker bronze shade from the Eye Magic palette. And I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line. I'm just going to go back to this pink shimmer color from the Eye Magic palette and apply this to the inner corners of the eyes to give an extra pop of that pink color. So let's go ahead and get to the base. So I'm going to go back to concealer. Again, going in with the Ilia Beauty True, the Ilia Beauty True Skin serum concealer. I'm just going to apply this to the under eyes. Now you could definitely just do concealer after foundation. Um, I do sometimes do it after foundation, but a lot of times I end up just doing it before foundation. I don't know why. That's just how I tend to do it. Alright, so now for foundation, I'm using the RMS Uncover Up Cream Foundation. I have this in the shade 22. I do really like this foundation. It gives really good coverage and it just looks really pretty on the skin. It doesn't look cakey. Um, it has a bit of a dewiness to it for sure. Um, and it just makes the skin look really pretty and healthy. Oh no, I just got some of the red eyeshadow that I swatched earlier mixed in with that foundation. Anyway, I really like this foundation. It looks really pretty and skin-like, which is always a good thing in my book. I don't know if you can just already see how pretty that looks. It just really smooths out the look of the skin and makes it look really skin-like for sure. I definitely think that when foundations do have a little bit of a dewiness to it, it definitely does help it to look more skin-like. All right, so obviously you can see how dewy this looks. Oh my goodness, I feel like it looks crazy, crazy dewy in the camera right now. Like, whoa, girl, you need some powder. So I'm definitely gonna wanna set this with a powder. And for powder, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Jane Iredale Amazing Base Loose Mineral Powder. This is a new product to me. I'm super excited to try it. I am actually gonna be doing a full face of Jane Iredale on my channel soon, so if you are interested in seeing that, I will have that video coming soon. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this onto the cap and just do what you do with powder. I'm gonna set my face. I'm also actually going to take some of the same setting powder and just put this under my eyes to make sure that that is all set nicely as well. So now I'm going to use a bronzer, get some color back to the face. I'm going to use the Jane Iredale. This is their bronzing powder in the shade So Bronze 1. I do you feel like this bronzer does have quite a bit of kick up? Not a deal breaker again to me but just something to note and then don't forget the neck alrighty so next I'm gonna 
apply some blush and for blush I'm gonna use the Kosas Contra Chroma blush this blush is definitely one of my favorites I absolutely love Kosas blushes they're amazing they're so pretty I reach for these all the time especially this shade Contra Chroma it's just so pretty for every day look at that so pretty and I kind of go heavy-handed with blush I just really like blush I hope it doesn't look too crazy but I'm just gonna have fun with it for highlighter I'm gonna use the Maya Chia highlight of the day this is in the shade afternoon delight which is kind of like a pink highlighter which I think will look really nice with this eye look I think it will just go really nicely with it it is a dropper bottle I'm just gonna take a couple of drops actually really just one drop is enough I also just really like the dewy look that this gives to the skin as well. I feel like it just looks quite natural. And this does seem to apply on top of powders pretty nicely as well. Just applying this to the brow bone. I definitely think that pink from this highlighter definitely goes well with this eyeshadow look. I feel like I need some lip balm. I'm just going to use this Kosas Sport Lip Balm. This is their Hyaluronic Lip Balm. This is the shade Baseline, which is just their clear shade. And I do, whoop, I do really like this lip balm. I just want to prep my lips before I... I apply some lipstick all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my eyes and I'm gonna use the Lovina Beauty eyeliner so they also have this eyeliner it is a like it's just a gel eyeliner and it has this really pointy applicator and I'll be honest I'm not super great at applying eyeliner so I'm sorry packaging for this eyeliner is so pretty just look at that that is so fun and so pretty all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my eyebrows for eyebrows I'm gonna use the PYT this is their POV brow pencil I am not sure what shade this is but I will have that in the description box below and then on the other side they have a little spoolie which I think is really really nice because I always like to brush through my brows with a spoolie after I apply product just to make sure it looks more evenly blended and doesn't look like just a harsh, just harsh lines. So for mascara, I have the Vapor Mesmerize Mascara, which is in the shade Jet. I don't think that they have another shade, but it's just a regular black shade. Now I want to apply a lip color and because the eyes kind of has that bright pink color to it, I do want to keep the lips a bit neutral. So I'm going to use the Kosas Weightless Lip Color in the shade Rose Water, which is this really pretty like everyday pink color. It is one of my favorite lipsticks. Just to set it all, I'm going to use the Jane Iredale Pomace Hydration Spray. smells kind of good all right you guys so this is the finished look I do think that it came together quite nicely I really really do like this eyeshadow look actually I think it's kind of like neutral but also has that fun pop of color which I really really like so I really 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 enjoy both of these Lovina Beauty eyeshadow palettes. They're so fun. You can make so many, you can create so many looks with these. Neutral looks, bold looks. I am so excited to keep using those for sure. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, I would love it if you would go ahead and let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And also, if you do want to see more clean beauty content from me in the future, it would mean so much to me if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, but yeah, so that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.